Coffee companies should be more environmentally aware of their impacts on biodiversity and find alternative ways to grow coffee. I'm Kat. And I'm Ashley. And, and we're, we're going to be talking, talking about coffee. <laughs> coffee is one of the most consumed beverage in the world because of its taste and the simulating effect of caffeine. More than 25 million people depend on coffee and has become an important part of social interactions. It is also traded throughout many countries, which makes it the second most traded item in the world. Coffee! On the equator, 65 countries grow coffee, and they are all within the tropics. Coffee is grown in tropical mountain regions. These lands are cleared to grow coffee trees. About 69% of adults who live in homes aged 55 to 64 drink coffee. The U.S. consumes about one-third of the world's coffee. Most coffee is grown using the sun growing method. Trees and canopies are cut down to grow a single crop. Habitat species of plants and animals are lost. The loss of diversity of plants affects the diversity of insects, and the loss of one species affects the entire food chain and balance of the ecosystem. A study found that there were 94 to 97% fewer bird species in sun growing coffee than in shade growing coffee farms. Also, up to 40 species of trees can be found in some traditional farms. Coffee! Did you know that there is an alternative to sun-grown coffee? There is shade-grown coffee. This method does not require trees to be cut down. It is a healthier and more...